to GovTake 5, a series where we set aside a few minutes to chat about and talk about a few current topics impacting government and public sector. My name is Omar Raza and I'm a sector executive with our Global Center of Cities and Local Government. And I'm joined today with my friend and colleague, Stina Lies Hattesprag Ratzberg, partner with KPMG Sustainability in Norway. Good day, Stina. Hello, Omar. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, my pleasure. And so we're going to take a few minutes and just have a little bit of a discussion about cities, sustainability and the path forward. And as we look at cities, they are quite hard hit coming out of the pandemic and the post pandemic recovery. And city authorities are looking for opportunities to build back better, build greener and a fairer future. If you could share some comments about that and what's the role of technology? I think we're we're in a good place right now because we do have the uh, possibility to build back better. But I think it's a little bit up to everybody or all, all the citizens, actually, also not just the municipalities, but also the citizen and how we tackle this together, because our mindsets are a little bit changed. We want to build back better, greener and more sustainable. But as we see, for instance, in the Nordic countries, people are more reductant to actually jump on all the public uh, transportations. Um, and I think it's a little bit psychological thinking here. It's about the mindset. Uh, people are still a little bit afraid uh, and maybe that's why. Or it's just that you have changed your habits because when you have traveled around during the pandemic, the, um, the public um, transport, all the mobilization has not been used. So, so hopefully this is instead should be an opportunity to really push really forward to get people onto uh, the public transportation that are in all the cities and, and maybe even move less, but do it in the right way. And, and another thing that I'm also thinking about is that we did some work with you inhabited some years ago and the youth were really, really interested in more public spaces. You know, and, and just to have public spaces that were uh, available and safe. And what we see now is it's not that much use of public spaces, but we really need them because that's also something the green area and the areas that are in the cities that where children can play, where we can meet and where we can start social socializing more. So, so it's some strange thing happening, I think, with our mindset, but we do have possibilities to really build back better on some cases but we also have to look into what is actually going on in our heads and how do our <laughs> municipalities actually adjust to what we are bearing or expecting and trying to uh, get back to uh, that's very interesting kind of that rethinking of urban development and how we live in our cities how we interact in our cities and um, you would also know, we recently published a report called Future of Cities, where we, we did think about and looked at urban development, but also thought about uh, what are some of the new ways to partner, innovative partnerships. And again, in your work, um, if you could maybe describe a little bit of when we're thinking about sustainability, when we're thinking about rebuilding or building back, how should partnerships play a role and what is the role partnerships should play? I think it is extremely important with partnerships uh, because um, if we really want to, to build back better, we want to build sustainable cities as uh, fast as possible, have the transition as fast as possible. We need all actors to go to the same table, whether it's politicians, uh, whether it is um, NGOs, civil society and definitely private sector. And right. as we see that the, the capital, the, the finance market is actually moving over to more sustainable investment. And this is a huge opportunity for the cities globally to cooperate with cities and actually find out how can the cities be part of the solution in a much higher speed uh, than what we have um, seen before. And I think with, with partnership also come challenges uh, regarding innovation and I would say innovation both on the way that you actually um, collaborate. So new collaborations need to be established and also new structure to make the collaboration really function uh, in a city or a municipality. 
And you know, as we rethink our cities and urban development, we know that it needs to be based on a detailed assessment of a preset KPIs in order to identify the city's most pressing sustainability issues. Could you tell us a little bit more about the work that you're doing in the collaboration with United Cities and how you're applying United for Smart Sustainable Cities across, uh, across the globe? Yes, that is a very, very interesting collaboration because it is important to see actually where are the most pressing issues based on facts. So like you said, KPIs, Omar is extremely important. And that is where we see this connection with United Cities that they have developed, supported by 17 UN organizations, uh, a set of KPIs that can measure whether it's a huge city or a small city, a city in a developing country or a city in a, in a high developed country, uh, up and see how are we performing on pair, uh, re related to other peers. And where do we actually have the challenges and where do we see the opportunities going forward? So the importance by the, the, the cooperation for us is definitely that we get a lot of insight through the assessments done uh, through the U4 SSE, the United for Sustainable Smart City assessment. Uh, and like it is, it, it's when you have the fact, you also know where you have the gaps. So when you have the facts and you can also compare your city uh, to other pairs, you'll see where do we really need to put the highest pressure to move forward, to solve solution, to have a sustainable city in the future. So hopefully what we in KPMG can support with and what we're trying to support with is actually to help innovate uh, places where we need to innovate for new products and services but also to push forward innovation within systemical thinking and structural thinking is some of the work that uh, our, part, our partner and uh, in the collaboration with uh, United Cities is important. Because so far, I think all our uh, thoughts have been on more uh, linear um, economy and we need to turn around to circular economy. And we see in a lot of the gaps uh, in the U4SSC assessment that we need to think different. We need to move backwards in the way we're thinking, not just fixing uh, and doing less harm uh, with the, what we already have of product services and um, uh, solutions right now, but do things in another way. And as the world are right now, it's like 80% of whatever you produce or you design or you deliver a service, it's 80% of how sustainable this uh, product services will be when it comes out to the end user, uh, it's decided in the design uh, phase. So if we don't start to think uh, about what are we supposed to solve, what uh, um, what are the pressing issues that we need to solve, instead of just fixing it the same way as it has been done before, but just give you an example, uh, we do have a lot of electrified uh, cars in Norway, but soon we have just as many cars at the roads as we did earlier but they are with electrical vehicles but when they stand in line and they give us much uh, dust from the the, the road <laughs> i don't know actually what you call it you still have the dust coming from the cars so you haven't solved uh, both that people are spending time in a uh, line and that they are uh, polluting through the dust and so forth but you have solved that they're not polluting when it comes to emission. So, so it's how do we do things differently to solve the gaps instead of just fixing and do less of a problem? Well, that was great. That's all for now. And a big thank you, Stina Lees, uh, for joining us today. And to everyone, thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with us. And we hope you tune into future episodes. Thank you very much and have a good day.